The clutch housing is a quick way to fix several common problems that might take your screw gun out of service. It consists of the housing, the sleeve bearing, a dust seal, the detent plates, and the detent plate rubber pins. Common reasons to replace the clutch housing are a worn sleeve bushing, damaged detent plates, or a cracked housing. Replacing the clutch housing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the nose piece. Now I'll remove the bit holder. I'll place it in the vise, gently tighten the vise, and then I can pull the drill away from the bit holder. Now I can remove the clutch housing from the drill. I'll place a wrench over the end of the housing and unscrew it. It is a reverse thread. I'll transfer the spindle from the old housing to the new. And now I'll thread the new housing back onto the drill. And tighten it with the wrench. Now I can reinstall the bit holder. And now I'll reinstall the nose piece. I align the tabs inside the locator with the grooves on the clutch housing. And once aligned, I just press the collar onto the detents. And that's how you can install a new clutch housing on your screwdriver. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.